Hello YouTube, this is going to be a video of my 2006 PGO T-Rex 50 scooter. It's a 50cc scooter I picked up. It's the first PGO scooter I owned. I believe at the time, 2006, they were a sub uh, contractor, I guess, of Piaggio in Italy. And they made these scooters in Taiwan. So they're not the cheapest Chinese garbage, but they're not the most expensive Italian and Japanese scooters. The scooter, if you're right height for it, at least 5'8", I'd say. You have to be at least 5'8", 5 5'9". 5 if you're shorter, it's going to be very uncomfortable. If you're right height for it, it's a very comfortable scooter. It's good suspension in the back, good suspension in the front, disc brakes front, drum rear. And in the back, it's got a nice compartment here. It doesn't really have a rack where you could mount something to. It's got a gas tank on top. That you put the key in, then you turn, and then you have a gas cap. Turn. Yeah. Okay. So you put the key in, same key. Not two keys, same key. Turn. Turn it. Yeah, I've got all my oil and stuff here. And a lock because the helmet lock, the helmet mounts, uh, I have a full face helmet, like an ATV one, so it doesn't normally fit in these regular full face motorcycle helmet will, but you have these helmet points here, and it doesn't really do too well, so I use this lock, and I mount this lock to it, and I put my helmet on the lock, it was a lot better. The oil tank is under this compartment here, which is uh, interesting, not that easy to access, but you don't need to fill it up because it's 1.1 liters of oil, it lasts quite a few tanks. So take the key out. Let me explain the controls on this. So it's got a nice cup holder. So first you push it key and turn so you get this loose. It won't be locked anymore. Nice cup holder mount both sides with a hook. Lots of features. The clock on this does not work. That's a clock on top. Um, but yeah, it's got a fuel gauge, regular uh, speed gauge, speedometer. And this one's got a tachometer, which is fancy or uh, older 50cc scooters, I suppose. At the lights, it's got same high and low beam, which switches kind of like a car, in the same light. It's got passing lights, which is basically a flick, flick of a switch like this, passing light. It's basically, uh, you just turn around, it's like uh, when you're trying to pass a car on a highway and you just flash them, their high beams, it does the same thing, so, it's got a nice kickstart. It's a little hard to move, but it moves. Uh, this is gonna be a warm start. Turn it on, oil light goes on. Also, it has the uh, engine on off. It's the opposite of a Japanese one. Japanese one, the on is this way, off is this way. This one, the on is this way, off is this way. It's electric start also. So, kickstart, just give it a kick. Starts right up. And as you see on the tachometer, once it idles nice, it's going to be about 17, 1800 RPM, and then the needle stop moving. But whenever you turn the blinker on, the needle flickers. It blinkers the front, back, off, right side, blinker in the front, back, off, off. And you see how the needle stop moving, and it also, if you break, the needle flutters. I don't know why it does that. Um, lights. This is turn your dash lights on basically because it doesn't really do anything to headlights in Canada, it's already always on. And you got your low beams currently, it's very low because it's not revving and high beams. Back to low beams, passing lights through this. I don't even know if you can really see that. But yeah, it's a really quiet scooter for the VCC, it's got a good muffler good uh, heat shield on it. The scooter acceleration, I would say it's poor for a 50cc scooter. Over the first up to 20 kilometers an hour accelerates quickly after that. You're going uh, pretty slow in acceleration. And top speed on this is about 62 kilometers an hour. I could hardly ever get to the top speed on this one. But it's still good for city going. I would not take this out on roads where cars accelerate pretty quickly. But, as again, this is a very comfortable scooter. It's got ergonomic mirrors that are easy to turn around compared to the Yamaha's circle or ones that sometimes get jammed in position. I can't really drive it. 
Oh, the engagement speed, RPM, is about 3,800 RPM it engages at. And 